Sometimes in life, there are very simple experiments you can do that will change the direction of your life forever. Now in this video, I wanna share a tale of two friends who at 22 embarked on very different paths and at 30, they met up again and had a conversation that changed their life. What's up guys, it's Alex Hein here over at Modern Health Monk, author of Milk Zepihun and Master of the Day. If you haven't read both, what are you doing? Come on, people. Before we jump in, check out the link below this video because I put it together for a free journaling worksheet. The journaling worksheet will issue you a similar challenge. Do this exercise every day for seven days to get your life together and figure out what you want and it's gonna help you. All right, it's the link below the video. Check it out. So when I was 22, I knew two friends. One was the vagabond's hippie type. One was the banker type. So one of my friends decided that the second she graduated college at Clemson, she was going to move to Thailand and volunteer for a year or two, and then just see where life brought her, basically. My other friend was very much an in-the-box kind of guy. He moved to New York, he became a banker for, I don't know, Merrill Lynch or something, and was very much all about, you know, getting paid and living the New York life and being a New York City finance bro, and just in the matrix. Graduate, get your nice job, stay secure. Passion is not that important. Let me just get the job. Get a girl, have a kid, etc. Now, as time went on, my hippie vagabond friend, as we'll call her, moved to Thailand and volunteered for two years. Then she went to Cambodia. We met up in Taiwan for six months. Then she went to China and the Philippines. And she bounced all around. And she didn't make much money because really she was living for the day and her goal was to maximize her life experiences, and she just wanted to enjoy her life. And frankly, at 25, you don't really need to plan for the future that much. Now, my other friend who went to New York pretty much lived the same day, day in, day out. He went to the bank, he worked nine to seven. At night, all the finance bros got drinks, and they spent a lot of money on alcohol and dinner. And he made a lot of money on day one. He was 22, making 80 grand. And by the time he was in his almost 30, that number went up a lot. So he was doing well, even for living in New York. Now, an interesting thing happened when we all met up around 30. She and he and myself were all having drinks one night in New York. And I was shocked to hear him say how much he had always admired her life. And he said, you've done all the things that I was not brave enough to do in my own life. And that's when I got my epiphany of the day that is issuing you this challenge here today. Now, can you guess what that one thing that my hippie friend did with all this life experience and all this fulfilling life, what was the one thing that she did that he did not? The one thing was that every time she felt fear or anxiety, she still did that thing. And that was the only thing that made the difference. Whereas my friend wanted to do all of those other things but his moving to New York and doing finance was all safe, secure wins. And so every time he felt the urge to go travel or the urge to go volunteer somewhere or the urge to take a summer off and go to Spain, the fear that told him, don't risk it, just be the same, stay safe, overcame his action. So my 100 day challenge to you is simple. For the next 100 days, every single time you feel anxiety or fear around something, you go do that thing. Because if I've learned one thing, it's that over the long run, the people whose lives stay the same as they age are the ones who are not brave enough to take a risk on something they're afraid of. They don't ask out the person they really, really want because they're scared. They don't take the job they really, really want or ask for the raise they actually want, the salary, because they're scared. They don't go to that country because they're scared. They never write a book because they're scared. They never upload a YouTube video because they're scared. They never put any of their work out there publicly because they're scared. But the irony is everyone feels that fear, but the people who do it anyway are the ones who grow. So for the next 100 days, every time you feel any of the following fears, go do them. Anytime you feel a person you are attracted to, you're feeling it, ask them out no matter where you are the juice shop, the gym, your work, if it's professional and you're allowed to, ask that person out, the one you really want to. Or if you wanna decrease the ante, just talk to them. Talk to every attractive stranger. 
If it's in your work, why not apply for the jobs you actually want and get the salary, try to get the salary you actually want? If you're afraid of putting yourself out there but you've always wanted to be a writer, put one blog post out a week or one YouTube video out per week. If you are afraid of trying a new food because that's just not how you were raised, go to one exotic restaurant every single week. And sometimes there are deeper fears. If you're afraid of loneliness, you know, basically for 100 days, every weekend, do a really tough challenge. Don't hang out with anybody. If you're afraid of poverty, for 100 days, spend $1 per day. And you learn it's not that scary. If you're afraid of dogs, go volunteer at an animal shelter and spend an afternoon with them. Because then, you just collapsed and destroyed that fear. The net result, after 100 days, is that you will have conquered one of your major life fears. And once you've done that once, you can do that again. And once you've done that 10 times, you'll learn that being fearful is almost a kind of identity. And in the same way that I learned, once you get over the fear of writing one book, the door is open to writing another book. And once you write one script or one page of your book, you can write a second page. Or once you shoot the first YouTube video, you can shoot the second. So my challenge to you for 100 days is to pick some of the things you're afraid of and do them every single week. Because when you do this for a month or six months or a year or five years, soon enough, you become the person that has no major fears. And when you have no fear, or at the very least, don't listen to it, your life can become so freaking incredible. Because while 99% of people wanna do all those things, you'll be the 1% who's actually doing it. So stop making excuses, go do it for 100 days. That's all I've got today, guys. Check out those links below, and I'll see you soon.